guys, we're at Barbell Brigade LA. Even though there's only one, I gotta put the LA in there because we are in LA, so make sure you stop by. And it's 6.30 p.m. And this is a new training time for me. Usually you guys see me training in the morning, you see all the sunlight, but now I'm training at night because of daddy duty. So me and Gio, we switched babysitting shifts. So now she's training in the morning while I babysit, and then in the afternoon, Gio's babysitting and I train at night. And I'm kind of enjoying it. My body just feels way better in the morning. Every time I'm doing a meet and I'm doing flight A, which is like 8 a.m., I feel great because my body feels the best as soon as I get out of bed. But at night, I've been enjoying it because I've been able to see a lot of friends and members that I don't get to see in the morning. I start off my workout with some banded deadlifts. For the next couple of months, I have two main priorities in my lifts. One is getting ready for the movie, which we finished finalizing the script literally What day is it? Today's the 31st, right? 30th. 29th. We literally finished the script on January 28th. Today's the 31st, so I gotta get ready for my character. So I have two main goals. One is to work on my muscular imbalances, and that's just a lifetime goal. Like, if you have imbalances and weaknesses, you gotta work on them. The other one is to work on the movie. So I started off with some uh, banded deadlifts, and I'm just doing sets of four today. And I'm putting bands on there because my lockout is always my weakest. If you see all of my meets, even the ones that I complete the lift, there's a slight hitch. And in the most recent video, when you see my deadlift, I failed above the knee. So I'm always hitching really bad. So I really want to put extra weight on there so I can force to activate my glutes and my hamstrings and drive, drive into the top of the lift. <laughs> There you go. And then I moved on to some high bar squats. And I'm probably gonna be doing high bar for a long time and I know I'm building my squat up from scratch and I'm gonna be pretty weak. And I might do another meet because a lot of my friends are doing it. So I'm not expecting a PR at this meet and I'll probably even compete with high bar but I'm doing it because my quads, my baby quads, have always been a weakness. So I really wanna focus on building up my quads and also staying upright in my squat. I always have a tendency of good morning my squat and when you good morning the squat, it's really, really hard to break parallel. So I'm just really trying to focus on making myself better as a lifter regardless of weight and then, uh, like I said, trying to get ready for the movie. Then I moved on to OHP, which is building up my shoulders which is something that a lot of powerlifters don't really work on, uh, prepping for a meet. So during meat prep, um, OHP is often neglected and for good reason, because if you go too ham on the OHP, it can take away from your bench. So now that I'm back in the off season, I'm trying to build up my shoulders. I want to get a strong OHP. And then we moved on to a super set of in-kind dumbbell bench, as well as dumbbell bent over rows. And I've been loving bent over rows. I've always done it with the barbell. And Evan, which is our other videographer and marketing director, he uh, gave me a pointer with some dumbbell bent over rows. And you can really feel the contraction because with the barbell, you're kind of stuck here, right? But with the dumbbell, you're able to move your arms and, and hands in a more natural motion and you can feel this intense contraction. So I've really been liking that. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> the tens are over there. Dude, I used to run down there for fifties. What are you doing? <laughs> Start all over. Oh, so but the first set I completely uh, because I'm going back into my bodybuilding bro days. Um, my last. 
uh, I, I went back straight to the weight that I was used to and I used to be able to go ham on even a seated dumbbell press hundreds for like 10, bam, bam, bam. So when I was doing uh, uh, incline, I was able to do like 120s, 130s, like no problem. And so I picked a hundreds thinking I was gonna be able to do it and I did one rep and it was like, oh shit. So I started back down with the 50s and most importantly, I'm not trying to fry myself or really try to go ham. I just wanna get some hypertrophy action going. So I'm just building uh, my pecs, which I haven't touched in a long time and also uh, my lats with the dumbbell rows. And then I moved on to the next superset, which is lat pull down behind the neck, uh, superset with face pulls. I really like this, you know, sometimes it's really hard to find that mind muscle connection that you can't see in the mirror, specifically your rhomboids and your rear delts. So I like to superset these two because your back, your entire upper back just blows up. Then I finished off with my last superset, which is uh, skull crushers with dumbbells, which I like more than the barbell. Uh, dumbbell curls and also single leg hamstring curls because I have really really weak hamstrings and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I hitch on the deadlift. Your hamstring is responsible for maintaining knee and hip positioning and uh, because my hamstrings aren't strong enough to put my knees and hips where they need to be, they start doing all kinds of weird shit so that my back can take over, my quads can take over. So I want to build up my hamstrings so that I don't hitch anymore. Thank you guys for watching the workout. Don't forget to follow the Barbell Brigade Instagram. It's just at Barbell Brigade. We have all of our latest updates, launch news, stories on there. So if you want to stay updated this entire year, we're going to be launching a lot of dope stuff. We're really trying to take our brand to the next level and become a legit company. So there's going to be compression pants, crop tops for women, four-way stretch shorts. So stay on top of the Barbell Brigade Instagram for all the launch news. And uh, oh yeah, and then we still have a couple of these on the website, so make sure you go get this tee. Um, this one is actually my favorite one of the launch because it looks dope in the gym, but more importantly, because we are a lifestyle brand, I wanna make sure that the clothes look good on the streets, and I've been able to match these with light blue jeans, khakis, olive chinos, like all kinds of stuff, and it just looks really, really dope. So this is, out of this January launch, this is my favorite t-shirt. So make sure you go to barbellbrigade.com. We still have only a few left. And uh, that's about it. See you guys next time. Peace.